Hello and welcome to a review and today it's Marvel Civil War by Mark Miller and Steve McNiven. Now this is an epic book with an epic premise. The premise is simple. The book starts off with you have these young superheroes doing a reality TV show and they're for the camera so they're going around fighting all these like you know villains for the reality tv show so they're like playing up for the camera all of a sudden they spot nitro and they're like yes if we get nitro the ratings will be high so they go and fight nitro and by the way nitro is way above their league you know they can't handle nitro they go and fight nitro and nitro uses his powers and a whole block blows up literally a whole block blows up and in, a, in the block there's a school and that school blows up and you have all these deaths. And everyone, basically, the American public's opinion of superheroes, and basically, not only are superheroes, the superhero community goes down. They're like, listen, you know, you had these kids and they're for ratings, you know. They decide to take on Nitro, who's way out of their league, and look what happened. A whole block blew up and a school, a school full of kids dead. Because a bunch of superhero kids for ratings thought they could take on Nitro and look at what happened. So just everyone's had enough of superheroes. It's just like, you know, we hate superheroes. And the American government's had enough as well. So what happens is they're like, the American government's like, listen, we can't ban superheroes because there's so many supervillains around, right? But what we should do is start a superhero registration act that you've been trained by the government and that you work, work for the government and that you're accountable. Now, Iron Man loves this idea. Iron Man loves the idea that superheroes are now accountable, they're registered with the government, and they're properly trained. So you don't have that, again, you know, you don't have someone taking on someone above their leagues for TV ratings or for whatever, you know. So everyone's trained, there's accountability and everything. Captain America's like, no, basically now we're working for the government. Superheroes should have a choice. If they want to work for S.H.I.E.L.D., that's fine. If they want to register, that's fine. But it should be a choice, you know. If you start working for the government and register with the government, the governments will start telling you who the supervillains are. So both points are strong. Iron Man's like, listen, these guys need to be trained. They need to have accountability. Captain America's like, listen, you know, if, we start, if everyone starts working for the government, the government will tell us who the supervillains are. So you got that little balance and basically the superhero community split down the middle. You know, Iron Man's the leader for one group, Caps is the leader for another group. Now in this book, a lot of epic stuff happens. Basically, you see friends being torn apart, you know. You see some Fantastic Four members are like, no, let's go with Caps. Others are like, no, we should go with Iron Man. Some people, there's a big guy who like, a big guy reveals his identity, whose identity means a lot to him. And he does it publicly to show his support for Iron Man. He's basically like, yep, yeah, this is who I am. This is my real identity. This is who I am. And I support Iron Man, you know. And this is a big, big guy whose identity means a lot. And this guy comes and says, I support the Superhero Registration Act. So you have that. And you have people splitting, you know. You have a death, you know. You have, like, the ending's really sad. Basically, what you have is a story of two rights. Do you protect and hold accountability for superheroes or the fear if we start working and register for the government, the government will become the government's pawns and we'll have to do what the government says. You got this, there's an epic superhero and superhero fight. Actually, Iron Man even builds a prison, special prison for superheroes and this, who don't conform to the new Superhuman Registration Act. So basically, it's an epic book, you know, it's got everything in an event. It's an event book, I should tell you this, first and foremost. Everything you want in an event. A death, a kind of a return, but you find out later it's not a return. You have a guy showing their identity in public and coming out with a superhero uh, registration act, supporting it, you know. You have so much going on there. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book. You know? And you don't have to know anything. You don't even have to know who Nitro is. You know, this, you just have to pick this up and you can read it. You just need to know caps. You need to know the basic caps. 
you know, the basics again, you need to have Caps, Iron Man, you know, Spidey, you know. But yeah, I mean, and the art by Steve Epting, you know, uh, not Steve Epting, Steve McNiven, sorry, Steve McNiven. The art by Steve McNiven is pretty good. I mean, like, there's one, you know, like, they even start, both, uh, both superheroes, both superhero teams start working with villains as well, you know. So yeah, it's like, it's funny, like, it shows how Captain, when the law comes through and Captain America's against it, how Captain America's team work underground, you know, it's really good, the art's good by McNevin, the story's good, definitely check this book out, this is very, very, very good, I can't push this enough on you, I, I really enjoyed this, just have to pick it up, I'm not even a big Marvel guy, so I just thought, like, yeah, I'll get Marvel Civil War, read it, I absolutely loved it, you know, the art's brilliant, the writing was brilliant, the premise is brilliant, definitely check this book out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this review.